Kieran, I think everyone could be forgiven for being speechless after that, but can you do your best to sum it up? Yeah, what a day for the football club. You know, let's just take it in isolation, forget about the league or table or anything like that. We're playing Southampton Premier League last year, absolutely wonderful squad, very, very well drilled in possession as well. Um, and this group of players have just, you know, put absolutely every ounce of themselves into that performance, played with bravery, played with spirit, played with quality, had a, had a threat right through the game, lots to learn, things to improve, but... You know, the, the, the never-say-die spirit, the belief in the group, the way the crowd stayed engaged with it, the atmosphere, all those things, um, you know, come together. They made a wonderful, a wonderful game, um, a wonderful outcome. What a way to win a game and, and what an occasion for the club. So, yeah, one to really enjoy. We'll get into that ending and that emotion in a little bit more detail, but let's jump back to the beginning. A great strike from Leaf to open the scoring. How did you assess that kind of opening of the game? <laughs> yeah, it was, I just thought it was a really good game, I have to say. We... We were giving them problems at the start of the game down our left hand side. They struggled with leaf all game really, probably, you know, right up from the from the goal to the red card, everything. They were giving us problems down our right hand side to be fair and overloading us on that side of the pitch and it was it was a, you know, a really good battle, you know, tactically, physically, everything. Of course their technical levels outstanding as well. Mm -hmm. So it was it was a great game, I have to say. It ebbed and flowed. We had our spells, they had of course their spells as well. Um Things we can do better, but you know, so many positives in there as well. You don't beat a team like that, especially playing in the in the manner we did without doing so many good things. So, yeah, a great game. How did you assess the first half, and did you look to implement anything different in the second forty-five? No, there was a few details to to improve on, which were better in the second half. To be fair, so yeah, they were giving us some problems down our, our right hand side. Um, so we needed to adjust a few things. Losing Kiefer, you know was a big blow and we needed, you know, it's Ali was really attentive, but it's, it's hard to have all the details and the flow of the game when you're coming on and that sort of spell, especially the level of the game. So half time did him good mm -hmm. because he could, uh, you know, get a little bit more information about the press and, and where we needed the ball to go. So I thought in general that stuff in the second half was, was much better. Um, of course, they can still play through you because they got such quality and they got really good ideas with the ball. Um, but no, half time was just about touching up on some details. We knew... We could come back into the game. We knew we were still in it. We knew they'd have more spells um, that we'd have to see out. But we also knew we'd have our spells as well um, of pressure. And we knew that we've got goals on the bench. We've got people who come on and can change the game. And um, you know our fitness goes goes right to the last minute. And our mindset goes right to the last minute. And we knew we were still right in the game. And when you say all of those things, that, that you know that you've got those, how, where does that come from? Nah, I've said it. So many times it comes day to day, it comes to how they work, it comes, you know, how they, how they work from the first day of pre season, it comes from culture in the group. Um, it's not about, you know, wizardry with substitutes and some, you know, really different magical information 10 seconds before they come on the pitch. It's about players, you know, full, a squad fully engaged, training properly, preparing properly. Um, and <clears throat> substitutes knowing that they're going to have a big impact on the game and going to have as an important role as the, as the starters. And, um, you know, the starters knowing that they've got the fitness because of how we work to, to go for 90 minutes or in the forwards case a lot of the time to push really hard knowing they might not do 90 minutes. So mm. it comes from an awful lot of work from, from everyone and, uh, you know, that's why it's always the most pleasing when, when the subs come on and do get the, the, big, uh, the big moments. And that is such a big thing to, to highlight today. Of course, Brody with the equaliser and then Jeremy popping up at the end, but all of them coming on, I thought Jack Taylor was excellent. Yeah, he was. He really helped us get control of the game again and uh, initiative in the game. It was an un incredible touch for, for Nathan Skoll, I have to say. And yeah. It shows the quality again that he has. Um, and yeah, I thought they all did really well. I agree, they all did really well. And um, you know, Ali stepping into that level of a game, not having played much championship football, not having played the first half of a championship game yet, and to do it against Southampton, against the level of their play and the level of their centre-backs was was massive for him so all the boys who came on did a did a big big job and as I'll always say it's it's not even that just the subs who come on the pitch you know we've had to work so hard since since Friday night um, yeah. it's a really quick turnaround for a game like this and you know two good two good training sessions some tactical meetings good recovery good energy around the building that's not just about the the 16 players who are on the pitch today that's about all the players and, and all the staff who have a piece of that victory. Did you feel like the squad they dealt with the big moments as, as well you know talk about the lads up and down the pitch, Leaf on the left side, when he has that touch pass to the defender, they're big moments, aren't they, that create openings? Yeah, it was such a such big moment right through the game. Yeah. As I say, it was that type of game. It was two teams you want to have the initiative, give the other team problems with the ball, be aggressive without the ball. So, you know, if you do that, you're going to leave some space somewhere. And I say, 
we were leaving each other different spaces and it was about who could capitalise more and um, yeah, we, we managed to capitalise more on the on the spaces that they left us. How special was the ending? That's brilliant. We've had a few here this season, haven't we, to, to really enjoy, but um said that in the dressing room. It's about memories, you know, and moments that, that'll stay with us. It's today, you know, it's not a day to worry about the league. This would have been an incredible game if we were if we were twelfth in the league. Mm. Um if a game like that against a team just down from the Premier League with the journey that the boys are on, the journey that the club, the crowd are on. Um, great memories, great moments to enjoy in in isolation, of course, for the fans. Hopefully they can enjoy it right through to Saturday. For us, it's about enjoy it today and maybe tomorrow. But, um, you know, we come Wednesday, we'll be, we'll be, you know, preparing again and trying to get ready for another great game to look forward to. Just finally, I know you've kind of touched on it there, but it felt different at Portman Road today, didn't it? It was a very special atmosphere. I've been some, seen some great games here, sorry, all season, but... The fans today, that was an unbelievable atmosphere at times. Yeah, they were fantastic. Um, yeah, I think, you know, the, the club is doing an amazing job. Everyone, uh, I say the club, I mean everyone, um, in terms of um, how we're putting ourselves out there to, to the nation, really. You know, it's um, another televised game. Um, t- people, I know so many people watching it, so many texts from people, you know, leagues above as well, and, and watching it and, and commenting on the the atmosphere the style the players the way that everyone's going about it so um yeah an incredible effort from everyone and um you know great great there to be part of thank you for your time Kieran thank you cheers